Hi and welcome, I'm Kyle Kraska. It's the glitch that could spell disaster for millions of computers. Y2K has users unplugging their PCs and preparing for the end of the world. Our Steve Lankford spent time with one computer programmer who's doing just that. Uh, this is our well, our source of water. He's like a modern day Noah, building his own kind of ark in the desert and warning anyone who listened that the end could be at hand. If I can get even a few people to prepare early, that's better than panicking late. His name is Scott Olmsted. He's a San Diego computer programmer, and he believes the world as we know it could soon be destroyed, not by a great flood, but by the dreaded year 2000 computer bug that's become commonly known as Y2K. I think it was man himself, short-sighted as he is, um, doing something that turned around and bit him a few years later. Olmsted says he realized the devastating potential of the Y2K bug two years ago and started building a kind of millennial survival compound in the far reaches of the California desert. And just as in the days of Noah, many questioned his sanity, even his own family. I thought he was probably a bit nutty to tell you the truth. But now Scott Olmsted's wife Barbara and son David aren't so sure about that, and neither are some other people. I don't think that anyone who prepares peacefully for the protection of their family, so that they will have food and water is nuts. In fact, Los Angeles computer expert Dina Tevis Ingram concedes that the worst scenario for the Y2K bug could indeed spell the kind of global disaster Olmsted fears. We have doomsday, we have Armageddon. Nobody really knows for sure what will happen on the 1st of January 2000 because the brilliant minds who created our computer technology forgot to teach it how to count beyond the year 1999. And they won't find out how well the glitch has been corrected until the new millennium actually arrives. So you've got all of these data bank systems and all of these investment and spreadsheet systems and payment systems and payroll systems in almost a uh, time collapse countdown. Computers control everything from satellites to the military and the world's financial system. And if everything should go wrong, it could spell global disaster. Utilities collapse. We no longer get our power and our water. The electrical grid goes down. We are not able to access our money in banks because ATMs no longer work. It could also mean accidents in space, disaster in the air, chaos on the ground, and even an accidental nuclear launch. It was a problem that was completely underestimated. And because it was so simple, nobody took it seriously enough. Except for Scott Olmsted and a handful of others like him who have decided not to take any chances. The Olmsteads decided they should be ready to leave their San Diego home and run for the hills. So they built this remote doomsday safe house, which they are now busy stockpiling with basic supplies and non-perishable food, just in case the worst should happen. We'd have enough to share with relatives and maybe our neighbors. If we have to come out here, we will have this place all ready to go, just as though it was a house and home. And while it appears thousands of other Americans are following the lead of the Olmsteads and preparing for the worst, most are simply hoping for the best. I feel very confident that we will make the best of it and we will muddle through it as we have for every millennium. Every millennium, that is, since the Great Flood.